Officials say eight American soldiers have died after an attack by hundreds of militants in Afghanistan. Two Afghan soldiers were also killed and more than 20 were captured. The Taliban is claiming responsibility for the assault. A NATO statement says U.S. troops inflicted heavy enemy casualties. Meanwhile, an explosion injured six people outside the offices of the World Food Program in the Pakistani capital. A doctor says two people have been killed. The new leader of the Pakistani Taliban has vowed to strike at the United States and Pakistan in retaliation for drone attacks along the Afghan border. The chief of the U.N.'s atomic agency says his inspectors will check Iran's newly revealed uranium enrichment site later this month. He also says Tehran appears to be shifting gears toward greater cooperation with the West. Two high-profile cases could dominate the new Supreme Court term, which begins today. One is a challenge to limit on uh, corporate spending in political campaigns. The other is a lawsuit seeking to strike down local handgun bans in the Chicago area. President Obama turns to a group of doctors today to help press home the need for health care reform. They'll gather at the White House, and aide says doctors know best that inaction is not an option. And in sports, for the first time this season, the South Carolina Gamecocks are ranked in the Associated Press College football poll. The Gamecocks reached number 25 this week following their win over South Carolina State. Tony Stewart used a fast final pit stop to grab a much-needed win at Kansas Speedway. Stewart is now fourth in the chase for the Sprint Cup standings behind Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, and Juan Pablo Montoya. It's down to one playoff in the American League Central. The Minnesota Twins and Detroit Tigers finish tied and will decide the AL Central winner with a one-game playoff tomorrow at the Metrodome, which is booked today for Monday Night Football between the Vikings and the Packers. The National League playoffs are set with World Series champion Philadelphia opening at home Wednesday afternoon against NL wildcard Colorado. Also on Wednesday, the West Division champion L.A. Dodgers will host the Central Division champs, the St. Louis Cardinals. And four weeks into the NFL season, there are a handful of undefeated teams left. The New Orleans Saints, New York Giants, Indianapolis Colts, and Denver Broncos all are 4-0, and with the Brett Favre-led Minnesota Vikings sporting a 3-0 and mark heading into their Monday night game tonight against the Green Bay Packers. 7-0-4 at WEZL. Now 